Hello everyone, this is Fire. So it seems like I have to bring my voice higher. Even if I have the volume low, the music seems to over talk me, I guess. So it's a little bit, it's a lot lower actually than what I normally have it as. So we're just going to continue playing around being detective and invisible V. Well, identity V. I forgot how to play already. The content of a few scattered diaries is connected. I think they're describing the same game. According to this entry, the author describing this game is a doctor. The entry from this doctor is more detailed and complete. I think this would be a good place to begin. I'm glad it has subtitles because I definitely cannot hear him. Let's see, the survivor is the doctor, key case, main story. Oh, wait, so that stays there? The hunter will be stunned if tackled into objects by the Ford. What's a Ford? Is that like a skill that someone can use? Oh, crap. The arms factory that... Uh. In this game, you need to cooperate with your three teammates. Hello. A teammate is wounded. Go and heal her. Oh, because I'm a nurse? Ah, crap. I'm sorry. Your teammate has recovered. Yay. Okay, scheme the legend. Well, I'm trying to. I'm trying to run. <laughs> okay, where are the ciphers? That's what we're supposed to be doing, right? Okay. Is this my thief kid that I'm with right here running? Open it! What are you guys doing? Are we opening it? Ah, oh, 
so but that was easy survivor can search chests on the map to acquire items all right Ooh, 20 clues. Don't know what they're for, but I want them. Oh, well, I can't get them because it won't let me share to Facebook or Twitter. No idea why. The author of the diary is the Dr. Emily. Crap. I hate when it won't let me read stuff. What? Oh. As for the hunter, I'm still not clear about his role in this game. But he has what I'm looking for. Perhaps it would be better if I try to approach the problem from another person's perspective. So you can like change their outfits and stuff. Oh, I can't even see what the outfit looks like on her. Oh, Interesting. Ooh, flaming angel. Well, this is all interesting. Yeah, a lot of so uh, I guess these other people have outfits too. Oh, I guess we can leave. Mm, I don't know what this other stuff is for, but let's get back to the game. What's this event stuff for? According to the doctor's entries, the owner of the manor used to be generous, uh, used generous prizes as bait and invited them all to meet at the manor to partake in this game. There were three people other than the participants and aside from the doctor, a lawyer, a gardener, and a thief. Kind of reminds me of Dragon Ball. Okay, so where should we go next? Hunters need to knock down survivors. Hunters like it Oh. <laughs> it would 
seem that the rules don't apply to the hunter. The hunter has hindered everyone since the beginning, regardless of their actions. But how was it that no one resisted the hunter? Was it because of the hunter's strength? Or has everyone simply yielded to the hunter's dominance? Does the hunter take pleasure in this game? Or to put it another way, is that the real purpose of this game? It is ironic that the emergence of the hunter has forced this group of people who had opposing interests in the beginning to work together. I need to find out more about the situation. The information on the hunter is key. I need to know what he wanted to do next. Technique, patterns, disposition, traits, everything. So, eliminate the survivor with a rocket chair. So then we just start unlocking stuff, I suppose. Let's go hunting. All right, it looks like I had to wait for somebody to match up. It's gonna take forever. So let's see. I'm the hunter. I'm looking for these kids. Um, oh, there's a lot of these things over here. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get one of you. I'm gonna get somebody. Look this this. Find a joystick.
Like, let me run. I can't run. And I keep running into stuff. I mean, I can't run, but it's like... Then I saw it. <laughs> all right, are all these kids not? What are you doing? Stop. Awesome. I am Malia. Oh, one of them won't escape. I got three of them. Okay, these controls are wonky. Or is it just because every time I caught a kid, the hunter was like, yeah, I caught a kid. And like, he was just gloating way too much. These thorns were apparently used to protect things that he didn't want others to touch, or to trap those he intended to trap. Even if someone wanted to try their luck, their location would surely be exposed because of the accompanying scream they would let out when pricked. Simple, yet effective. I think the hunter must have used a pair of iron gloves to avoid being pricked by the thorns. Oh, 
Oh, PTSD. your PTSD. Apparently you were one of the kids and now you come back to find out the truth. So we're going to stop it here. This was a nice little quick thing. I'll probably do another one. This is story mode. We can just go straight to the battle, but I don't, well, I don't think I can until I get done with the story mode tutorial thing. So, I will be seeing you guys next time in the next video. Bye!